Well now, this evening, in LTV, in this series that we are running, those were the days we are interviewing in Noel McCrumpian. Michael Lucy here. And everyone, I suppose, in McCrum area knows Michael. He has been there very many years. When were you born, Michael? 1900. 1900? Yes. So you're 85 years old. 85 years old. Well, well, well. Where were you born? What part of the town? I was born, I was born in a place called Douglas Lane. Long ago, there's no one living there now. Douglas Road. No, and then you went over to Massetown later. Yes, we went over to Massetown. Right. Which school did you go to? Where was the school that time? Down, down was the end, down the Down the entrance to Barrett Place now, is yes, it? Yes, the entrance to right. Barrett Place. Right, right. And who was teaching you there, Michael? Johnny Leary, Town Road, and... Uh, Dan Keller. Dan, Dan Keller was teaching me. And you, of course, the yeah. girls were in a different school, were they? They were above in the convent. I know, I know. And how long did you stay going to that school? I and suppose the usual that time? I suppose I stayed there four years anyway I got to that school. But sure, I suppose you didn't leave school until about I 12? I didn't leave, leave school, didn't leave. we were shifted from that school down to the new school. Oh, were you at that time? I was. I know now, so... Yeah, I do. Uh, during your time going to school, the old school down the school lane yes. closed. Yes. It closed, right. Now, you started then, after school, walking of course like everyone? Walking for Mrs. Baldy. For Mrs. Baldy. And what were you doing? Carrying around bread in a basket. Around the different shops? Yes. I know. And uh, when you just start each morning? I'd start about 8 o'clock in the morning and I'd finish didn't go to school. Oh, you were doing that while you were going to school? Yes. I know now, yes? And I, I, I go back again after school and I stop at six o'clock then. But then, when you stopped school, you were walking there all the time, weren't you? I was, I was, I was. Right, and you stopped maybe and 10 o'clock maybe? All I, get, all I get in the day then was one sixpence. Six old pence? Six old pence. Two and a half new pence? Yes. Glory be. So very low pay? Was. was. Everyone was paid. Ah, but the, 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 the times were bad. They were, but they were. Well, then, you were there for a few years, were you? I was. How many years, roughly? Where, where, by the way, where was that bakery, Michael, here in town? Do you know where Jim Piper lived? Jim Piper, next to the cinema? Next to the cinema. Right. To the other, to the there was Baldwin's bakery. bakery. Yes, yes, yes. And, and what was in the cinema at that time? Uh, then told me I had to drive a shop in the cinema. I know, I know. He had know. a driver shop and he moved across from the driver shop over across the square. Over to near Harry Murphy's. Over below over Harry Murphy's. Near the chemist shop. Right, right. I know. Now, you were working there then for three or four years, I suppose, were you? I was, I was, I was, I was. And then you, what was the next job you got? I went over to Johnny Shea's phone and I lived in bottles. Bottling? Lived in bottles. Yes, you were labelling the bottles. Yes. And what was the pay there? A bobby dear. Oh, Six my God, you were after getting a lot, a big increase. I was, I was. You were, I was. so, you were, you were, you were getting on. And then you stayed there a couple of years? I did. Mm hmm. And I, uh, I went away uh, out to Carrigate Road in. My goodness. Out to the country? Out to uh, Jeremy Dunn's Carrigate oh. Road. And what were you doing there? Carrying me to the creamery. To Cone Creamery? Yeah, and I know. Jobs are, uh, around the yard. Doing jobs are around the yard and everything. Yes, yes, yes. And you came in then, of course, again from there. I came in again, of course, from, from, from that. From there. And then, of course, the, the, at this time now, you would have, I suppose, the trouble starting, would you? No. Didn't it start? I, I got a job dinner with the twigs. Oh, did you know? Did you? With the twigs. The, the meal, man. meal man. Yes, I know. Yeah. And thrown old bags of meal and thrown old bags of flour. Yes. And who were working with you there another time? Bert Caron and, uh, and Jack Lucy Massetown. Was Sailor there? Ah, was Sailor, Sailor. Sailor was there, yes, 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 yes. Now, you stayed there then for a while ago? I did, I did. Till the, Until? The trains were put off of the road in, the, uh, off of the tracks. Oh, they were when the trouble up. started? When the trouble started. And there's a the tent trouble. And there was no mail coming to McCroom I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Well, we, one of us had to go. I, I go, I said. Right, yes, yes. You were working, uh, you were living in Massetown that time, weren't you? I was living right. in Massetown. But now, 
I think you are the small little scrape of the tennis, and you? Aye, 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 aye. Look, he scrape like it. The Lingate, there was a tan shot at the Lingate. Right. And they had a blood hound. Oh. Do you understand? I do well, I do, and I do. He left the blood hound up the, along, and he, he, tracked, he tracked over across the field. Behind the brother's school now, like? Yes, yeah. behind the brother's school, and out in, out in the fair field in Macedon. Right. The dog came into the house and... In the ear house. Mm. My brother was sitting down and myself and we ate. The tans arrested the toes. Oh. And why did they arrest you? Sure, you had nothing to do with it. We hadn't a, a, a bit to do with that. I know, I know. They, they, they brought you away to the castle. Yes. I know. And the, uh, my mother went to the doctor then. Right, right. And uh, my sister had a monthly. Right, 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 right. I suppose, uh, yes, that might be something. Yeah, to, uh, yes, yes, right. I suppose, but, yes, right. Yeah. But I tell you, in the castle... Well, in the castle, then, there was a big crowd that was there inside in the day room. Yeah. Uh, after the day room, a big, uh, big old room, and the tans was come every night when they get paid. Every Friday night? Every Friday night, and mm. swing the wall, but right, so she hear buggers. Yes, yes, and nasty and names, I suppose. Yes, yes, and yes everything. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, my God, that passed away uh, anyway. There was fellas praying to God and praying to the... Praying to everyone, uh, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, St. Joseph and all uh, the uh, saints, as yes, they say. Uh, yes. 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 That's right. Anyway, I was caught up, Michael, right. up to the day room. Yeah. Will there be no hope, they said? Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, So you don't name here. I said Michael Lucy, of course, you did and it was Michael Murray, I think you're still. Michael Murray? And where was he living, Michael Murray? A Bob and Tinker Oh, and they made a the mistake. And the trans went around with the, the, uh, the, the cars. Trying for the, the crazy tinders yeah, around yeah. the bloody place <laughs> looking for me. They thought, uh, yeah. And yeah. they came up, and I went up the chimney. Oh, they tried your house? Yes. You I went, went up, up the, the chimney? chimney, I crashed. It was a big, uh, big open fireplace. And I crossed my legs in the chimney and went to uh, the chest house. Of course, you had only, only a single room in those houses. That's it, a single that's, house. That's, that's right. Room. So, when they went away, I got up and I dressed myself and away up with, with, with me up to up to Kashalora. Up to Kashalora? Yes. Who'd you, where'd you go there? I went up to Jermai Canucks. Oh. Uh, that's right, Kailers. Kailers. Yeah. Up above near Mushra? Yes. And I slept there for a long time. Until the truth, I suppose? Until the truth was signed. Yes, you say that. And uh, I was worked there and... Oh, you worked there? I, I was working Walk there. Walked your way there, yes, oh, sir. Yes, right, right. But listen then, can you think of the truth? Can you think of the tens leaving the town? You can, I suppose, can you? I when can. You can. I can and they're throwing bombs everywhere. Throwing bombs, yeah. Yeah, I throw them into the river. Yes, yes. And throw them around the youngsters and pick them up. Oh. And yeah. uh, they didn't care about what they do. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, then, of course, that was over and they left. Yeah, and the it. next thing was our own bit of trouble. Our own civil war. I know, I know, I know, I know. And you had, you, of course, you were in the army. I was, I was, I was. Yeah. How did you get into the army? I I was working with it, and I, got, I, I was left off, and I had a couple of points. And I was arrested that night by the staters. Yes, yes, three state soldiers, yeah. And I put it into the, uh, the prison. I do. Over. Mm -hmm. And John Lynch, the bridge, says, you better join up. He was over the he was troops of the, the town, was The locals of the, uh, the town. Yes, I know. He was yeah. a commandant. He was a commandant. Yes, that's right, Lynch. commandant Lynch, yeah. Come and on and join up, he says. So I joined up, I went to the side. Right. I went away and joined up. By the way, I think that you went up the ranks a bit. You got to be I sergeant had, major, didn't you? I was a sergeant major. Fair enough, you did so. No. Sergeant major. Yeah. And you went through a good bit in that. I did. You did. Of and I was a guard in the castle gate one day. One night. One day. One night is it? One night. One night. Yeah. And just there was a man coming up. You were in sentry duty, is it? Sentry duty. I know. So late at night was it? It was about two o'clock in the morning. Two o'clock, one o'clock. And he, I knew by the way he was walking that he had his boots tied at all. He was in a hurry? 
He was in a hurry. Yes, yes, yes. And he was going for it. Hard who goes to you? Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, he said. Yes. <laughs> Advanced Jesus, Mary and Joseph to bring back her right, says I. <laughs> he came up to me. I said, go on away. I said, I'm going for the nurse, he says, for my wife. Oh, yes, yes. And the nurse was all in Pony and Miss Murphy. Miss Murphy, nurse Murphy. And yeah. he went away for the nurse. Yes, you knew him by that point. passed away, I think. You knew that man? And then, uh, and he went, after that, after that, then, uh -huh. we went to the, where was the station? Over here, across in Dini's Hotel. That's right, you were, of course, yeah. In Dini's yeah. Hotel. Yeah. And Michael Collins came to town. I do. Michael Collins came to town, and uh, all, all the town and all the kids wanted to see him. There was a big crowd. Uh, well, there were six of us in the over to get back the crowd, to get him away mm -hmm. before anything had happened. Oh, well, yes, he was protecting him, yeah. Oh, a big crowd, a big crowd was there, and we, we kept him back all right, we controlled him. Yeah. And he went away, and he was shot in Bernabal, the and following the way out, day. And the following day, oh, he did, was, of course, so pity, yes, so pity. He went away to the hand guilty, and he was shot. He's coming back. The, the following day. Right, right. But listen, in, you, you had a bit of an escapade then. You did a lot of scoring. Say, you just got the country and I we believe were, you was got, went to Inchigila one time, didn't you? Oh, we went away. Uh, we got ready and we went away out to Inchigila. Right. The whole company. The whole company? All bit had on. Oh, yeah. And going to Inchigila we, there? We went in the, uh, in the cup of... Uh, the top of Ross Moore. Right. They went to shot for us as we got here. Right. And we got into Jigila and No. Did you see it at it, it, while she we, was there? Uh, a riot castle and we're going uh, uh, into Jigila. That's Rahim Murphy's. Rahim Murphy's. Rahim Murphy's castle. Yeah. There was a wireless up. Right. And we took that down. Yeah. And my seven Dan Connell went away along the road again. And there were cattle. We we got uh, covered behind cattle. But like to shoot. Yeah, I covered know. behind cattle. And we went into the Indigilo village, they went to shot for us. Inside and, the village? Yeah. And we were there about two hours, an hour and a half, hmm. when Sean Hills and... Uh, and I suppose John Hill was there? John Hill Servant came yes, on. Yes, yes, John Hill Servant came on. Yeah. And we got there, came from the Indian man, we said, to Johnstown, where, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we had a trace of him over, and we stopped there. And we went on to Ballingeri. Well, listen, what, did, did you get anything to eat in Inchigila? I suppose she wanted to eat There something. was a loaf of bread in Inchigila village. And why, eh? We, the, uh, the other fellas had it all taken away. The Republicans? Yes. Oh, yes, sure, I suppose they wanted it too. Yeah. They did, yeah. Well, mm. we went along there, because uh -huh. they came home from town to us. Yes, I know. They went to the Lover Bridge in the village. I know. I don't. So anyway, we went away on to Ballingeri and there was one, one crowd was screeching up dead and the other crowd was screeching up Collins. Yes. And we went from rock to rock and firing shots. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know. How so many like a pantomime? It was, it was, it was the cowboys. Yes, 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 yes. It was worse the cowboys. Yes, yes. And they're screeching. And they're screeching and tearing. And we went into Jigila. I do. Ah, Ballingeri. I do. We didn't land in Ballingeri till nine o'clock that night. All day going trying to get back? All day uh, fighting uh, fight around the rocks. I do. Along by the lake. And uh, Sean Hales will on the road, keep above him, lads. And he's scouting uh, up at us. Keep above him. Mm -hmm. Hold them down. Yes, yes, yes. And so, the for one, they had an 18 pound and they for one round out of it. I do, I do. It was like it. We went into uh, to Ballingeri. Right. And I slipped in. I went into Ballingeri and I had a cup of tea. And I slept in Charton's public house in the stairs till morning coming on the boat. Six o'clock in the morning, 
I got up and I was perished. But were all, were all the, the soldiers around the village that night then? They were, they were in century everywhere. Oh my God. And uh, mm -hmm. I think the John Hill's crowd stopped by the word in, in Ballingeri, Mill. Oh, they locked their own ones. I do. I know. He stopped there with the crowd. Yes, yes, yes. Um, well, I reckon we got after the to go to Balabour now. I know. And in the motor did lend in, and the motor did lend in, we took one crowd went to one side of it, and the other crowd went to the outside. Half of us went to each way. I know, huh? And six shots, and there was a fellow with a vickers going above. Some fellow up in the hills, yeah. Uh, about, about, Twenty hundred yards away from us. Yes, yes, yes. We could see him behind, and there was bullets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ping, ping. Mm -hmm. There was friend the ground in front of us, mm -hmm. and they didn't hit one of us. Thank God. Yes, yes. And we went. Uh, we got the others twenty hundred, and we put up our uh, range to twenty hundred, and we fired the the side of the, uh, the Rikatov for both. Oh, they were behind the Rikatov. Yeah, I know. And. We silenced him. Yes. He went off. Yes. Yeah, he, he, he was shot, shot or not, yes. I don't know yes. whether or which. I know, I know. So, we were way back to Balaborna. Yeah. Back along. And Balaborna was taken by when we went the, in. The Dublin fellas had gone in there, we told them. Yes. Yes, that's right. Yes. And into McFoom he came. The Dublin fellas had Balaborna taken. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Never a bit of and of course, you came into McCroom then. We came, walked into McCroom that day, that day after. Yes. Ten miles we walked again yes, into McCroom. Yes, I know, I know. Listen, at this stage of it now, I wonder. I heard you singing there one time an old song, a great favourite of yours, Skibberine. I wonder, could you give it to us again? I heard it here. Well, well, fair enough. Oh, then. Father dear, I oft times hear you speak of air in thy hill. Those lofty hills and valleys green are mountain road and wide. They sit his a lovely land wherein a prince might will and why did you abandon it the reason truly tell O oh, son I love my native land within a year and pride Till a bride came over all my crops, my sheep and cat will die. My rent and tag is worth to I, but within far to pay. And as a Ned, a reason why I left to Skilverine. And you were only two years old, and feeble was you, him. I could not leave you with your friends, you bore your father's name. I wrapped you in my coat of moor, at the dead of night and seen, and loud and high. Where is the cry, heaven's was in. Oh, Father dear, the day will come, with vengeance we will call. When Irish men will rally, will rally one and all. I'll be the man to lead the van. Beneath a flag of green, and loud and high, a revenger die, a far dear old slavery. Fair enough, fair enough. Good man, good man, good man. You, you did it fair. Yes, yes, yes. 
Well now, we'll come back again now to your escapades. And I suppose you'll remember, and will always remember, because you had an atlas cave back there, Cargafuca. Oh, Cargafuca. Cargafuca Bridge in the Mine. We got an order, we got an order, one man in the, in the trap. Yes. A company of us go back to Cargafuca to take up a mine. Yes. So we went away, we were lined up, mm -hmm. and we went away back to Barabo and Right. And at Raleigh Cross, I think you said? At Raleigh Cross, then there was half of it, a platoon. Yeah. Marty O'Brien, mm. he was the second lieutenant at the yeah, time. Right. He took half a platoon down over Dr. Gould's bridge and up by the bank of the river. He walked in the river? He did. How could he walk in the river? Oh, yes, yes, yes. He yes. walked the bank. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Yes, yes, yes. Almighty right. God could only walk the river. Right, right. Yeah. Sorry, sorry for that now, Mike. But listen, <laughs> he went along anyway. I meant you he walked the bank. He went along so. anyway. And we went away the main road. And uh, we went away the main road. And uh, just a cartridge cross. There was another half of us. Another half of us. Yeah. Taking away John Sweeney's cottage there at the cross going up to the waterworks. Right. Then we land took 20 or 30 of them there across. And me and Tommy Mangan and, uh, and our brown castle row. Yes. We were the only two cartmen was amongst the crowd going back. I know. Three cartmen. Yes, yes. Two cartmen. Mm -hmm. So we had a great fun and a great laugh, we mm -hmm. got to the mine, mm -hmm. and we were singing away all along, mm -hmm. and we got a... I was sick. Listen, I believe you told me that you had something the night before, oh, I you? had, huh? I had a couple of points of Johnny to jump up. Uh, and the and wrestler? Was, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, a couple of points of wrestler. What kind of stuff was the wrestler? Oh, it was... Uh, it was a kilo. It was <laughs> cheap, I suppose, was it? You right. wouldn't pay much. Three apples of wine. Oh, I know. It was a kilo. It so, anyway, we went away back to Caracahoga Bridge. Yeah. And anyway, we were around the mine and we taking up the thing. And I got an awful pain inside me. Yeah, yeah. An awful pain. Yeah. And here I must run, says I. Yeah. I must run my own mind. And don't underneath it after the bridge over cross right, I went. Right. And every time I, I pull up my pants I have to live it down again. I know, I know. <laughs> I pull up my pants every time I have to pull up my pants I have to live it down again. I suppose you had the diary, had you? I had. <laughs> so anyway, between the jigs and the reeds, I heard the, the big bang above the road. Yeah, yeah. I took up my pants and I, I ran up, I got afraid. I'd had to, I'd had to have something up. Here just about when I came up, I see Tommy Mangan did, and copper wire here, running out of his jaw, and, and Barry, Barry O'Brien Castle View. Yes. Across from, and pieces out of his face, and neck and everything. Anyway. But listen, he was brought down, he was an engineer brought down from Dublin, wasn't he? He was, he was. His he was, mother he, was teaching in Castleview. His mother? Yes, that's right, his oh, mother. In, uh, in Castleview. Castleview. Yes, I think so, now, at the moment, Michael, that he has a relation, a TD in Dublin. You yeah, know, have, yeah, yeah, have, yeah, have, yeah, have, yeah, That's right. I don't know, no, yes, I'm that's not. right. So, anyway, we got out, we came into town. The reinforcements, they came up for the bodies then. Oh, yes. Yeah. And the nine of them went over. Uh, uh, there uh, were nine killed there? There was nine killed. Two Dublin, seven Dublins, and two Cork people. Two locals, yes, yeah. From Cork. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, One of those was a great friend of yours, I think, was he? Who? Yes. Manning, wasn't he? Oh, uh, Tommy Mangan was a great pal of mine. Where was he living that time, Michael? He was living in the top of Castle uh, their, their mother and father had a, a sweet shop. I know. And oranges and everything there was well. I do, I do. He was related to, he was related to people around too. They came up and they, we, 
the bodies went down mm. into the old human thing. I know, I know. And there was whatever was there of them mm -hmm. was put in the until they were coppered. But they, but so they were some of the the following morning yeah, yeah. the following morning there was a, a bag of stuff came down. Pieces, buttons, everything. Pieces of the bodies. Pie pieces of flesh and everything. Mm. Jeremy yeah, yeah. and Lynch, Lynch Fairy Man. Lynch, yeah. Fairy Land. Fairy Land, yeah. Yes, that's right. They bought only a big bag of stuff. And they had a right of very bag, not to print it only. It was awful to look at it, wasn't it? It was an awful thing that happened. There was pieces up in the tree, pieces of tunics and all, buttons and everything there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and they bought them all down, and we buried them beyond the. The old church yard. I know. Yeah, in the church. I know, and that was that thing. Uh, that was that thing. I believe that here in town, when you were in the army, that you saved some trouble one night passing one of the bars. Oh, did yes, you? I was coming up then. Yeah? Up along the town from the railway, up along, and I was got over. And <coughs> anyway, I had the road in and said, Miss O'Leary's pub. Right. I really didn't know, you didn't know what was up. There was Jim Lynch, the dentist, and Foxy Leary, Connie Leary, yes, yes. son, and the Dublin fellows around him. Right. They were and having me, I suppose, were they? Well, uh -huh. the Dublin fellows around him, and Foxy the bed, I need him, mm -hmm. and, and Jim Lynch. Yes, yes. And anyway, I went in. Very minute I went and said to her, oh, my friend, Foxy Larry said, there are, 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 and well, sure, Jim Lynch was, what, sure, his, his brother that was over the town. Yes. Uh, sure. I brought up the, the revolver to Jim Lynch, uh, or to John, John Lynch, Lynch. Right. and I told him the story. I said, no more about the nose, he I'd see after that in one. And of course, Jim was Donald's father, wasn't he? He was, he was, he was, he was. Right, right. Now, I think then that you, another place that you had a bit of a scrimmage, was uh, Calaginima, hadn't you? Oh, yes, at the Pike Bridge. Right, and yeah. We went out to the Pike Bridge anyway. And we were filling in the Pike Bridge. Because it broken down, was it? It was broken down. Yes. But you got to fill it up and the, the ambush stopped it. Right, That was in the morning, was it? It was in the morning, yeah, about yeah. half past nine. Yes. So they were coming down along from Cactus to the Pike. Right. Going over, there was a way over, I think. And we were firing there, and one fellow went under the arch of the bridge. I do. One, uh, one of our fellows. Yeah. And he got a bullet behind in the backside. Oh my God. So. And he was, was he killed? He wasn't. He didn't, yes, yes. So yes. Common Crown said, Ah, oh, we are all surrounded. We're going to McCroom for reinforcements. Yeah. I'm going to say, I got a bicycle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm. wasn't he that's coming in from Charlotte, I think Charlotte. That's it. And he started the army comrades after, didn't he? He did. He did. They were the, like the blue shirts they were called. Yeah. That's right. So uh, anyway, we uh, I he said to me, uh, we were going got out of the village and commanded the other by by the No said I you have two <coughs> All of all was there, no hands there, so they, oh, boy, there's no good on top of a bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm half dead, so they, I never got, got to the McCroom for reinforcements, so I was half dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the road has stopped. Yeah. Take my rifle I, 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 and keep it till I come back, I said. Yeah. And give me one of them guns. And you got the revolver? Give me one of them revolvers. He gave me a sharp with blue revolver in. Right. And I came down and we just carried him there. I had a girl's bike. That's the bar? The bar, a mm. public house. Yeah. Give me that bike so I, I, I have to go to my, my room for a reinforcement. I got up on the, uh, the bike 
and I revolve on one hand and I out with a hundred bars in the other hand. In the right. same hand. Right. And I wrote down to my room for reinforcement. Yes. And I had them up about half an hour I was gone. I, I believe said. we were lucky there at Mount Cross that day, oh, yes. I, I was coming down across Mount Cross. <coughs> Jack Keeler. Yeah. He was there nearly. Touching. Was supposed to stop me in the road. Yeah. Well, if he stopped me, I had him shot. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so I came down to McComb and I got a reinforcement. You got the reinforcement? Yeah. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Twas all a pity, wasn't it? Twas a, a damn shame to have any split. There were good men in both sides. Yes, yes. yes. Great men in both sides. Twas and the t- 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 yeah, we want them. Tis, tis indeed, tis. Listen. It wouldn't be like the, uh, uh, the crowd now. Mm-hmm. Uh, there were great men and, uh, and great pals. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And they died for one another. They did, sure. They did, they did, they did. They did. Tis but a it's a pity there was ever a split in the country. Right, right, right. But the civil war, there were great men on both sides. But listen, Mike, uh, I think when all this was over, then a certain amount of time passed on. Yeah. And you had, you were asked, weren't you, here? Was it? Who, who asked you about Guthrie? That Guthrie escaped oh, yes, yes, from yes. Kill Mike Lambish. He escaped. Oh, yes. He escaped. And uh, Guthrie. Uh, Could you tell us about Guthrie? Uh, Could you tell us about Guthrie? Uh, uh, I was asked by the, the Board of Health. Yes. The Board of Health that time. Yes. To go over and take up Guthrie. Right. And I how, went wait, wait, how, did, how was he there, Michael? How was uh, Guthrie there? What happened? In, could you tell us how he was there? Where, where was he? Right. Over in Gatlin's bog. And how was he there? He was, he was shot after the Michael ambush. He escaped, did he? He escaped from the King Michael ambush and he passed from his public house uh, down along. Uh, and and he was caught and it was a good job he was caught. If he came into town, he, the whole town would be burdened. I suppose so too. So yeah. anyway, I went over and uh, uh, I dug down and I got him up. And he was... He was inside the bog? He was inside the bog. And there was nothing around him, was there? He was covered up. There was nothing on him or on, the, uh, on his door. Yeah. So we took him up and he was all right. We 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 down in the wagon and, and he could, when we got him up in the air, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. up in the bank, yeah. he fell away to pieces. He did it course from. He was there. And he had a gold ring then. Four or five years he was there as well. <coughs> and I took off the gold ring and his finger, it fell mm-hmm. off the yeah, finger, yeah, I yeah. took off the gold ring. Mm. He had no bit. So I, Lynch, uh, there was a guard here, Lynch. Yeah, there was, yeah. To me, that gold ring, everything must go back to his people. Yeah. Belong to him. Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah. we covered him. And uh, Brady said some, pray- some prayers, Protestant prayers over him. Yes, I know. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. You're right, yes, I know. I so, know. Yes. Old Brady, uh, old Brady said to me, there's a drop of whiskey in the drink. Fair enough. Give me what a drop of whiskey. I took the whole lot of it. <laughs> I suppose that was nearly the only thing you got in pay. That's, that's the only thing. Uh, uh, but I tell you, at that time now, have you any idea about prices of way back when you were young? The prices of things? When you I were going to get Balvin's at that time? You, you, you get a, a, a loaf of bread. For toppings. A loaf of bread. Toppings. Two old pins. Yeah. Right? And we get a, a, a quarter of butter that time for twopence. Oh, yes, I do, yes. And you and get a pound of sugar for twopence. Oh, things were very cheap. Yeah, were. Well. And if the cigarettes and the booze and everything were cigarettes cheap. Cigarettes, only a penny package for King Woodbun. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. And straight cut for four, four for no penny. I do, I do. <coughs> but listen, you yourself then, you were a small bit in the ESB and you met an accident there, weren't you? Didn't you? I was. <coughs> you did? I was with only the scheme. Yes, you were, yes, yeah. And I was up high in, in the plank. Mm-hmm. And it was a long plank, mm-hmm. nine foot, mm-hmm. nine foot, three foot two or something. Yeah, yeah. And the spring gave yeah. and I fell about 30 feet yes, and you on top of a rock on my back. And the spine of my back I cracked. You were looking like that you weren't killed. And I was not saying that was for a long time. Long time I, I was looking at the one play bubbly the season for a long time. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Now, 
you have had an interesting life. Listen, in the t end of your time then, of course you work for the council a bit again. Oh, I, 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 I work for the council at Brishina Square and Brishina mm -hmm. Hall and all around the square yeah. and mm -hmm. everything. And Brishina down here. They had the main road at all, the Clark County Council had the main road. Right. And this year, there was a bounty came to us. And we got a penny extra for every hour we got. Yeah. And I got so much money, I went to the pub. I do. And anyway, I didn't preach sharply any at all. Yeah, yeah. Put your mask. I do. And you didn't preach sharply class, yeah. Sharply class, I didn't. And he went up and Harlem's clothes went up and done their dust. <laughs> Maybe Neville's clothes went up. And the, <coughs> the whole place was in a bad state. <coughs> the place was in a bad state on Sunday morning and then they went to Mass. Yeah. You got so into trouble, I, did you? Someone went up there. The uh, person with all even went up there. Then he happy. Yeah. That sounds like. That sounds like. And he reported. And he. I was uh, I was above uh, uh, drinking a cup of tea. Hmm. Come down, you want him below. You didn't go chaply in it hard. I did go up chaply, and I said, "Who told you that?" The man had told me he wouldn't tell me lie. Yeah, yeah. So I knew who told him after. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got out of this place, did you? Look, there's your wheelbarrow and there's your bridge. Yeah. And you can't keep her a job, I said. Mm -hmm. I'm going away. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. You used for a while too, any announcements that the council used to have to make? You used to go around, I was, I was, you used to do that around the town? I was. I Had was. you any funny kind of announcements or any experiences that time? No. You can't think of anything funny? No. Just the ordinary things about no. the water and things? Yes, the ordinary things. I know, about the water. I know, I know, I know. Do you know, you had, you had an interesting life. I had a good life. You had, you had. And I went through a, a lot. Yes. Now, at the end of this, now I hope the goodness that you'll live many years more. But okay, come here, uh, yeah? Jerry. Yeah. What's killing the people today? They had too much wheat after dinner, too much cotton cake, too much jelly yes, yes, and yes. custard. And they had a bit of bread and butter yeah. and an egg in the morning. Yeah. That'd be enough for any man. Yes, 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 yes. They're expecting too much. They yeah. are. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah. Sure, I remember a time. I remember a time. A flower, a bag of it on the end of the day of uh, Christmas night. Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. A bag. A bag. A coarse bag. For, for the tablecloth. For the tablecloth. For the tablecloth. I do. And a lot of spots thrown out in it. Uh, and you'd be delighted with it. And kitchen and sauce then. Yeah. And we'd have a big feed. No, they wouldn't go to bed except that, that jelly, yeah. cotton cake, right. and three or four kinds of cotton cake. Right, 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 right. And right. sweet cake. Yeah. And, and bar and brag? And bar and brag. Yeah, you should say cotton, uh, baker's cake and bar and brag. That's right. L listen for a ticket, I tell you. Now at the end of this, I suppose there's some song you'd like sung for you. We'll get it sung. Which? So would you like to hear the, the old? I'll sing a song myself. Will you? What yeah. song? Driving into the fair on my old side car. Right, fair enough. On your I was driving to the fair on the north side car when I met three kitty clear. That's the bell of a castle bar. She was walking, I must stay. And says I to her, okay, would you like to take a seat on the old side car? Yes, I'd like to take a seat on your old side car. And I thank you for the gift of his might of Castle Bar. Then Katie took the reins, I didn't mind or not the least. I got anchored to our ways on the old side car. It's an awkward place to kiss on an old side car. But I tried when she said yes on the road to Castle Bar. For my blessing on the day. For the neighbors soon will say, There goes Mrs. Pat O'Shea 
on our old fight. Good men make good men, and I hope you live many years to come. Get you. <laughs>